the name XOR stands for this X means it is exclusive or so what is this exclusive or means is so at only one and only one bit should be true then only we are going to produce an outcome of one if both the bits are zero or both the bits are one then it is going to produce an outcome of zero so come back let's discuss this again so because these are uh, this look like very similar to the R but it is exclusivity and exclusivity is added to this logic so what is that exclusivity is only one and only one bit should be produced should should possess a value of one then only we are going to produce an outcome of one okay so now uh, see this the truth table of XOR so if both the bits are zero then it is going to produce if both the bits are the logical understanding of this exclusive or so that logical understanding is very important so what is the logic that we are going to get from this exclusive or so that is very important so the logic that we are going to get from this exclusive or is if both the bits are same if both the bits are same produce an outcome of zero if both the bits are different means one is zero and other one is one in that case only we are going to get an outcome of one so if both if two bits are different produce an outcome of one if both the bits are same produce an outcome of zero so this is logically very strong point okay so now so zero zero uh, uh, both of them are same so it is going to produce an outcome of zero zero one they are different so one one zero again they are different both the bits are different so it is going to produce an outcome of one 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 it is going to produce an outcome of zero because both of them are same so that is what we call it as exclusivity exclusive or so this is how bitwise exclusive operation exclusive or operation is done so let's apply that logic on these two numbers which is 12 and 5 what we're going to get a zero one so both are different we are going to get an outcome of one zero zero this one is going to produce an outcome four bits or uh, zeros so that we are going to get an outcome of all zeros so this is the outcome for exclusive or bitwise not means just complement each and every bit just complement each and every bit in the given number okay so let's uh, i have taken this five so this is the binary equivalent of this is uh, the decimal equivalent of this binary number is five and what we have to do if we apply bitwise not we have to just flip the bits if it is one make it zero if it is zero make it one so this one is zero one zero all these bits are ones 